Hello there. Hi, everybody. This is Nicole Santa Maria with Miami Handwriting, OT for Real Life. Happy New Year. Here we are. This is the first of a weekly Facebook Live series that I'm going to be doing. That's part of my 2021 plan. So we're going to be on here every Thursday at noon. We'll have different topics related to what struggles you guys are having at school. Sometimes we'll talk about wins, but at the end of the day, this Facebook Live is really based off of conversations I've had with parents, conversations I've had with kids. Um, if there's any special requests that you have, go ahead and reach out to me and let me know. But um, I'll be here weekly at noon, so I'll be sending out reminders. And for those of you that are watching this, uh, whether it's going to be live or on the replay. Thanks for being here. Um, today, we are going to be talking about your kids' grades. So we're not going to be talking about, here's what we're not going to be talking about. We're not going to be talking about uh, what to do when your kids get good grades, right? We're not going to be talking about what to do if your kid gets this horrible report card and you're like, Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? We're going to put those uh, feelings and judgments and perceptions that we have about our kids' grades and we're going to put them aside. Um, what I want us to look at it, and this is quite a different perspective, I want us to look at looking at our kids' grades as an opportunity to teach them something that um, it's kind of hard for them to learn, but it definitely needs to be developed. And grades is a great opportunity. And so many times I find it's a missed opportunity to do this. So the three things that I want us to learn, well, first of all, let me backpedal here a little bit. Um, yes, I want you to sit with your child and look at their grades. I'm sorry, it's true, but if you wanna teach them these three things, this is something that you guys have to set time aside to do with them. So you can be from the school of camp that my kids' grades are my kids' grades, and that's between them, and you know you may have some consequences set in place. Um, you may be from the school that, you know, my kids' grades, uh, I need to check them, and I need to make sure you know they get getting rewards and consequences. And that may be something you still want to do. But for this lesson that I want you to learn, I want you to put those aside. I want you to take the time um, and look at your kids' grades. But first, I want you to know that we're looking at our kids' grades. Actually, we don't even care what grades they got. We don't care if they got an A, a D, an F, because our goal right now is what we're looking at this with them is because we want to teach them three things. Okay, guys, here we go. We want to teach them accountability. We want to teach them self-awareness. And we want to teach them the executive functioning skills, a lot of executive functioning skills, but specifically metacognition. And I'm going to unpack these um, here because I really want you guys to have a strong why because grades are emotional. Grades are hard. When you get that bad report card, you're heartbroken. When you get the good report card, you're like, yes. They're doing great. So the reason we want them to look at their grades, we want them to teach accountability, right? We want them to be able to match their efforts with their actual results, right? And it could be that they put forth a lot of effort and they got really good results. And it could be that they're that kid that doesn't really have to study or do anything and they put in medium effort and they still got really good results. And it can be the kid that put in zero effort or very little effort and got really bad results. So we want to just use this opportunity for them to check in with their efforts and what actually happened to match, to match that up with them. The second thing that we want them to learn is that self-awareness. So for this self-awareness piece, so we're gonna talk about their expected grades um, and what they actually got, their real grades. And a lot of times with the kids I work with in schools, when I'm talking to parents, if you've taken a workshop from me and we had a follow-up together, this comes up a lot. A lot of times the kids' expectations, like what they think they did, 
does not match what actually happened. So this is a great way for us to stop. And it's actually only three questions that I'm gonna teach you to ask them. So it's actually not so hard, but it's really impactful. And the last thing is executive functioning skills can be learned from this specifically metacognition. Now this one sounds like it's a fancy word, but it's actually not. The way I like to explain it is metacognition is the voice in your head. Our voice in our head, our kids have voices in our heads. Sometimes we hear it as self-talk. Sometimes they'll talk out loud and that's their metacognition. Metacognition allows them to preview what's coming up next from past experience. Metacognition allows them to problem solve. So we know that's a huge skill for them to function, right? At the end of the day, you can't separate me from the occupational therapist. So I'm always gonna bring everything back to function, right? We want our kids to function, whether it's at home or school. And these three skills, I'm gonna review them again, which is accountability, self-awareness, and that metacognition, which is that little voice in your head. And sometimes that voice can be good. And sometimes, a lot of times in our kids, when they're struggling, that metacognition voice just breaks them down. So this is a great opportunity to look at their kids' grades. I'm sorry, but it's going to be hard, but you guys are going to be able to do this. And use looking at your kids' grades as an opportunity to build these three skills. Okay, so this is my first Facebook Live this year. They've changed everything. If you have any comments, I can't see them and I don't want to mess with this. So once I'm done, I'll answer any comments because I can't see anything. Uh, so go ahead, we're going to continue. So the three questions are, first of all, I need you to hold on to these three things that they're going to learn because looking at your kids' grades is hard. And I'm going to say it again, looking at your kids' grades is hard. It's been a really hard year virtual school, real school, it's just been hard. But that's okay because we're going to use this as an opportunity to be better. That's what 2021 is going to be about. We're just going to be better, just 1% better. That's it. Um, okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to sit down with your child, even if you're not the parent that looks at the grades regularly with them. For many years, I was the parent that didn't look at the grades regularly. Um, I'm not a big grade checker, but um, this opportunity uh, was definitely missed. And, and I think that's why I'm so passionate about sharing it with everybody because, um, you know, I missed it. Luckily I have three kids, so the little one, <laughs> I do this with the youngest one. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna say, all right, buddy, we're gonna take, you know, five minutes because it really will take five minutes. We're gonna just take a look at your grades together. But before we do that, here's what I want you to ask them. I want you to ask them, hey, so, I haven't looked at your report card yet, but how do you think you did? It was definitely a strange, you know, first part of the school year. Um, some of you already got your report cards and some of you aren't gonna get them till a few weeks from now. Um, like here, I'm in South Florida, Miami, we already have our report card. So how do you think you did? And you want this to be, like I always tell the parents, like you just wanna be like, like relaxed, like, you almost don't want to have any facial expression that's going to cue them in on like, oh my gosh, if I did bad, she's going to be mad. If I did good, then it's great. Like we want it really to be about them. Okay, so how do you think you did? You're going to wait for a response. Um, hopefully you'll get one. You may not get one, right? So then you want to give choices, right? Even if they're a 10 year old, right? We usually give choices for toddlers, but sometimes it's hard to get that conversation flowing. How do you think you did? And you can make it specific. How do you think in math class you did? Do you think you did good? Do you think you did bad? Um, and you want to be specific with what good do you think, what grades you got. You know, actually, you want to keep good and bad out of the conversation. You want to talk about the letter grades that they think they did. Okay, so hopefully you can get this out of them. Maybe difficult, but just stick with it because it's important. Um, you may need to let them know. Hey, listen we're just going to be, you know, you can even like empathize. Look, it was kind of a weird year for everybody. I'm not, you know, going to be upset or anything like that. I just kind of, I'm wondering, what did you think? Go from a place of wondering. That usually is a great way to get them to talk. Second question is, all right, guys, let's go see what the grades are. This has to be done together, right? And remember, you are still keeping your very best game face and you're just like this. 
relaxed, no expression. Remember, looking at those grades are hard. Looking at a bad grade, it's hard as a parent. It's very emotional, right? Looking at a good grade, you are so proud and happy. And yes, we want to bottle that all up. The good feelings and the bad feelings. Right now, we're just as a matter of fact. Because this isn't about us here. This is about your kids. Okay, game face, very important. Three questions, that's it. The last question is, once you get the grades, you already have what they thought the grades were going to be. You already have checked on what the actual grades are. Here's the question I want you to ask, okay? I want you to ask, so what do you do to get these grades, right? And it's kind of a tricky question because if the grades are good, they're going to be like, oh, I studied. Oh, I took notes. Oh, again, if they're that kid that just gets good grades, they're going to be like, I didn't do anything. I just got good grades. Um, but if they're the kid that has the not so great report card, we don't want it to be as what I didn't do. We want to pull out of them. What did you do? So I'm going to give some examples because this is a little bit hard um, to change our perspective. So an example would be, what did you do that got you these grades? You know, like I thought I got A's and B's and I actually got like D's and F's. And like true story, I have kids like this that I work with. Oh, I'm doing awesome. I'm doing great. And we go in and we check their grades together and it doesn't match their expectations. And the not matching the expectations concerns me way more than the actual grade, right? Because I'd rather than be like, oh, I actually think I didn't do good. I didn't turn in some assignments. I know I did bad on one test because I didn't study. Like, that's good. That we can, that we can help. So it may look like they might say like, when you're, cause you're asking, what did you do to get these grades? So what did you do to get this F? Well, I said that I would do it later. Like when we had classwork, I said that I would do it later because I wanted to take a break. But then what happened was I never got to it. Another example is what did you do to get this F, D, C, um, whatever was the grade that didn't match their expectation. Well, I didn't write down any of the assignments because I thought I could remember them all, right? I didn't do the work the day it was assigned because I thought I could do it later, right? I didn't really pay attention because I already knew how to do this. That's like a really popular one. I already know it, so I didn't really pay attention. Um, so let's review. These are the three questions I want you to ask when you go over the grades with your kids. I want you to ask, hey, buddy, how did you think you did on your, you know, your first term of um, the school year? I want you to ask, so let's go look at the grades together. Well, not ask, that's like the third thing. The second thing you're going to do. The last thing I want you to do together is ask, what did you do to get these grades? Remember, what we're trying to gain here, we're not trying to gain that perfect report card. That might be a goal, but right now, this is not what we're working on. We are working on, we want them to gain accountability. We want them to gain self-awareness. And we want that metacognition, that voice in their head to match what's happening in real life. So... I want you guys to take a deep breath. Oh, and let me not forget that throughout all of this, you get to keep like your beautiful game face. I don't want you to be, I can't, can't control that we're upset. I don't want you to use this as an opportunity to, you know, have a consequence, punish. I don't want you to use this as an opportunity to be, I'm so proud, uh, here's your reward. I want this to be an opportunity of just checking in with the facts because we're trying to build accountability we're trying to build self um, awareness and we're trying to build metacognition so i want you guys to go and try it and report back okay so i'm gonna let you know that i'm going to put on the link below whenever i can get to the comments um a sheet that has all the executive functioning skills because i want you to start thinking of these as my, my child is good at these executive functioning skills and my child is not so good at these executive functioning skills. Because just like 
accountability, self-awareness, and metacognition, they can be developed, but there's a whole other list of executive functioning skills that we can develop with something as simple like what I'm suggesting you guys do today is ask three questions, right? That's not hard, but it's so powerful and so impactful. Um, so go ahead and get the 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 free, um, it's executive function foundations is what it's called. And it just has a list of all of the skills. It has a brief description and it tells you, hey, this is what the skill looks like. Uh, and this is what it looks like if it's not working or if it could be better. Okay, and then I want you to set a reminder next Tuesday at noon on my Facebook page, I'm gonna be back. And um, I think we're gonna be talking maybe about either note taking or planners, one or the other. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Remember, I pull the topic for these Facebook Lives from real conversations that I have with um, other parents. Um, this is my first week going back to school. So I have a whole goal setting workshop that I do with my kids that I work with elementary, middle school. Um, so maybe we'll be talking a little bit about goal setting. But any special requests, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, that's it. This is Nicole Santa Maria, um, my for Miami handwriting and OT for real life. All right, friends, let me see if I can exit out of here. Remember, if you had any comments, um, I'll get back to them once I can see the comments because I can't.